prove that f of x is equal to minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 5 is a decreasing function for all real values of x. Right, before we do this problem, we're just going to look at it graphically, although we've got to sort of show it gra um, algebraically, but let's have a look at it graphically. So here I've used GeoGebra, and this GeoGebra app I'll put in the notes of the video. So here we've got our function minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 5. And we can see from, um, from going from left to right, the function is going downward, so therefore the function is decreasing. And that important thing is to realise, if we draw the tangent at any point and we move it along, we can see that the gradient of that tangent is always negative. Okay, so we just see that there, we can see the gradient is always negative. The gradient will never, a, a graph of a straight line this here, will, is never positive throughout this sort of range of this sort of, uh, the domain of this graph. Okay, now if we um, plot the derivative, so I, this is what's known as the gradient function, it will look like this. Okay, and we can see that this is a quadratic function, and it has uh, we've got the software to uh, come up with its maximum value at one minus three. Now the important thing is the minus three because the gradient is never going to be more than minus three. We can see that here from this type of graph. Uh, the maximum value of the gradient, uh, sorry, the maximum value of yes, the gradient will be minus three. But this is looking at it graphically, so. How are we going to do it algebraically? Well, we're going to take the function and we're going to differentiate it to get this. And then what we're going to do is differentiate again to find that maximum value and show that the, the maximum that this function can ever be is minus three. And therefore, any other value of x will be less than minus three. And therefore, the gradient is always negative. Hence, the function, the green function here, will be a decreasing function. Okay, so let's just look at this now algebraically. So we've got f of x is minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 5. So if the function is decreasing, we need to show its gradient is negative for all real values of x. That's, that's the objective here. So if we find the gradient function, so that means we differentiate this, the gradient function will be f dashed of x. So that will give me minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 6. Now if we note, because it's minus 3x squared or minus x squared, it's going to look like that. And what we're going to do is attempt to find the y coordinate or the f dash coordinate of that particular point there. So to do that, we will need to uh, differentiate this to find the maximum of this. So we'll differentiate again. So f double dash of x will be minus 6x plus 6. To find the maximum, we put it equal to 0. Okay, we've got minus 6x plus 6. And we've got 6x is equal to 6, so x is equal to 1. So the x coordinate of this particular point is 1. Let's go back to this again. So we can see the x coordinate of this particular point is 1. What we've got to do now is find the y coordinate. So we can find the y coordinate by taking 1 and putting it into this function here. So, finding the y-coordinate of the gradient function at x is equal to 1, that means we're going to find f dash of 1, so putting, that's going to be minus 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 6. So it's going to give me minus 3 plus 6 minus 6, which gives me minus 3. So what we've now found is the uh, derivative of the gradient at x is equal to 1 is minus 3. So the gradient at this particular point will be um, will be uh, minus 3. Okay, there you go. Oh, just missed it. Don't quite get it. There you go. All right, at that particular point here. All right. So, we now have to make a conclusion. So we now say the gradient function f dash of x is a quadratic and minus x squared, so we know it's going to be a happy face, uh, sad, sorry, a sad face, 
and a maximum value of minus 3 at x is equal to 1. Hence, f dash of x will always be negative for all real x. Let's just look at that. The y coordinate of this graph is always negative for any value of x. Which means the gradient is always negative, therefore f of x is a decreasing function. Hence, this the original function here is a decreasing function. So we sort of proved it there algebraically, and I sort of used the uh, GeoGebra graph to sort of explain what we are doing. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. And I'll remind you that the GeoGebra graph will be in the notes of the video. Thank you very much.